Critic Game Hub is Liverpool's largest gaming store and stocks all things games. Whether that be Pokemon, Digimon, Warhammer, the lot, they've got it. Also using our discount code TEAMCRITHIT, you can bag yourself 10% off orders on their online store. Hello everyone, welcome back to Team Crit Hit. In today's versus video we've got a Jessmon Mirror match from a few weeks back, just before the Digifest tournaments. Um, so there is Mulligan and Side deck involved in this game. So on the right side we've got Jamie from Team Crit Hit. And then on the left side we've got Lewis, also from Team Crit Hit. Jamie came third in the Leeds Digifest with this Jessmon list. And I believe Lewis came ninth with this Jessmon list. So, yeah, let's jump into the game. Sorry guys, if you, if you hear a bit of heavy breathing, I'm going through a cold right now, so I'm all blocked up. I do apologise. It shouldn't be too bad. Okay, so I believe Jamie starts this game off here. It's a very quick game. Very intense match between two Jessmon players, two decent Jessmon players. When they come together, it's very fast, very aggressive. So let's go. Okay, so it's sad whether they want to keep the hands here or Mulligan. Looks like Jamie's got a full stack up to the Jessmon right there in his hand, which is cool. Very good start for Jamie. So Lewis decides to Mulligan. Okay, here we go. Start. Jamie starts by hatching a Bebby Domon. Goes into the set 7 Hookmon, which allows him to look at the top 5 and search all Systemons. And goes into a Bow Hookmon from there. Lewis starts. Goes into a Bebbymon also. Bebby Domon also. Hatches an Ogumon. The Ogumon is inherent, gives 2k if you're attacking your opponent. And goes into Greymon for 2. Unfortunately, no level 5 for Lewis. Which is not nice when you're a Jessmon player. He decides to drop a blank, draw the card, try and search it out. Jimmy goes, save your Hookmon. And I believe he just goes Jessmon here. Jessmon passes the 3 over. So already, Lewis is way behind here. Which is not nice at all. Still no level 5. Feel the pain of this. Being a Jessmon player myself, I know what it's like to miss that level 5. It's not great. Jamie so starts, hatches, attacks with the Jessmon. Triggers the Hookmon, searching some sisters. Finds a system on Blanc. Puts his two tie at the bottom of the deck. Triggers the Jessmon, plays the Blanc, triggers the Blanc, draws, triggers the Bow Hookman, killing the Blanc, triggers the Saviour to restand the Jessmon. Very nice. Swings again. Plays out to CL, gains a memory. Attacks into a Bow Hookman. And from here, plays the Bow for five. Getting all the advantage of that tie, given Lewis three. Might as well. If Lewis doesn't answer this here, he loses next turn, which is very quick. Unfortunately, it's what it's like, though, with Jessmon. If you don't see the level 5, it's normally terrible. Very, yeah. Goes with a system on Blanc Awakened here for 5. Puts the system on from Trash underneath it to recover plus 1. Okay. Jamie starts, draws for turn, he stands as Jessmon, hatches a Bebby Domon. Was Baby Domon into ST1 Ogumon. So that's 1k inherent. Swings with CL. Hits a Jessman. Swings with Blanc. Hits a CL. Swings with Jessman. Triggers his abilities. So first up is Ukma. Finds two Blanc Awakened. Adds them to hand. Next up is Jessman. Plays Awakened. Puts Blanc underneath it. Recovery plus one. Triggers Bow Hookman, popping the Awakened. Triggers the Saviour, stands to Jess. So now Lewis can trigger his Awakened to add a piece back from the trash to hand. Goes with System on Blanc. I think it matters here because Lewis swings again. Swings again. And then swings for game with the Hookman. Okay, that was a very quick game. Let's 
Let's go. Let's see what the players decide to side in here. If they do decide to side in. What would you take out? If they're playing delicate plans, you'll likely take the delicate plans out because they're pretty useless against Jessmon lists. Maybe some removal. Guy forces, maybe. Anything like that. I do believe they are both playing Omnimon X Antibody in the sides as well, which is a pretty good card against Jessmon. So actually just stopping them dead from attacking is pretty nice. Jessmon swings, you trigger the X Antibody. Remove two sources, it just stops the attack. Pretty good in the in the Jessmon matchup. Now I do see the X Antibody there in Lewis's side. What's he deciding to take out here? Okay, I can't exactly see, sorry guys. Looked like an Ogumon ST1. Lightning Joust, I believe that was. And Jamie has just sided in two Lightning Jousts. Looks like he's taken out a Judgment of the Blades. So Lightning Joust is one cost option. Gives one Digimon 3k and security attack plus one for the turn. That's awesome in Jasmine. Just brings on that pressure. So Lewis is... That was two Gaia Forces and an Omnimon X Antibody, I believe. That was from Lewis. What's he siding out? Let's have a look. Okay. Well, Jamie shuffles. Let's see if we can get a peek at what Lewis has taken out. So that's a Gaia Force he's putting in. It looks like a delicate plan just taken out for another Gaia Force, I believe. Yeah, that's another Gaia Force. And then we've got an emergency program shutdown. I'm guessing that is for the Omnimon X Antibody. Yeah, so what was the first card he sided out? Let's see if we can get it. Judgment of the Blade, okay. So Lewis decided out delicate plan, Judgment of the Blade, and emergency program shutdown, and he's put in two Gaia Forces and an Omnimon X Antibody. Quite nice text against Jessmon. Gonna have a quick shuffle here. Okay. Jamie's set, ready to go. Let's see if these texts come up at all. Let's see if anyone can get this Omnimon X antibody up. Pretty cool little tech against Jessmon. Let's go, let's go. Let's see if Lewis can see a level 5 this time. Get himself going. Or is Jamie going to take it? Okay. I believe this was from our circuit championship that we host at Locals. Once a month. I believe this was the final game from that tournament. Also, guys, if you play through webcams and you want some free tournaments to play, we do them now over on Discord. Um, I'll put all the links in the description to the Saviour. Completely free to enter for anyone, anywhere. We have free prize support, obviously decors and things like that. We are doing a free winner mat next week. It's Tuesdays at 7pm. I'll put all the links in the description with the details. Hope everyone can come and have fun. Meet us, play against us. Be awesome. All three. Okay, let's go. So, Jamie is mulliganed. Let's go. Start. Do a start. Hatch the baby doorman. Falls the baby doorman into Ogamon. Draws a red memory boost. Not a great hand here from Lewis again, unfortunately. Goes with the red me memory boost. Greymon, War Growlmon, System on Blanc, and System on CL. Hmm. Decides to take the Greymon. Okay. Yeah, so he decides to take the Greymon. Jamie starts, hatches a Yoko Mom. Hard plays a Greymon. Must have bricked. Jesus. What's he got in hand there? Okay. Passes two over. Ah, that's unfortunate for Lewis. He's just drew another level four after adding that Greymon. She should have added the War Grey Growlmon with a been going here. Pays two, goes into Greymon, draws a tie. Decides to play the system on Blanc for three. Digging for that level five again now. Okay. Jamie starts, plays Hookmon. Looks at the top five, gets a Hookmon and a Saviour Hookmon. Quite nice. Okay. 
think he has everything he needs now. As soon as the Greymon hits the system on Blanc Awakened, decides to evolve the Hookmon over the Yokomon. And then the Greymon for two, passing two over to Lewis. Okay, Lewis starts, not a level five. And the Gaia Force is pretty much useless here. Okay, so that's one of his techs, but obviously not great. Decides just to play the tie here. Goes back to Jamie, he draws, swings with the Hookman. Hits a bow Hookman. I believe he's probably just going to go into the Saviour here. Yes, plays the Saviour. Passes the three over to Lewis. Lewis draws, still no level five. Ugh, you got a feel. Got a feel for Lewis here. Swings with the Blank. Hits the Ogamon. Okay. So Jamie does have the Jessman in hand. Lewis decides just to play another tie to pass the one over, trying to buy himself some time here. But it's not looking great for him. Jamie just goes into Jessman, passes the three over. Lewis draws. He's hit a Hookman, but no level five. So he's playing the Hookman. Let's see if he can get some pieces here. It's the thing. It's Jessman. Okay, there's one. And system on blank, so still no level five. No, it's not great. I think this is coming to the end here now. Because Jessmon's hitting security attack plus one. So basically, if Jamie has an Omnimon in hand, he's got game. Who swings with System on Blanc, hits a Saviour Hookman. Hmm. So we think that really saving Lewis now is a Gaia Force in that security. Let's hope. He plays a Judgment of the Blades, just passing one over. There we go. Let's pray there's a guy force for Lewis. Swings with Jessmon. Activates Jessmon, plays CL, activates Saviour, restands. Activates CL, gain a memory. So that's two checks. It's on like 17k, I believe. That's one, it's a Hookmon. The other one is a Greymon. Swings again. And then Omnimon for game. So, yeah, unfortunately for Lewis, didn't see a level 5. But thanks for watching, guys. See you on the next one. Bye.